Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one, as you can see, is from Brett Wilkin at around 10 days out of Legion Sports. And honestly, he looks better than ever. I don't think he was ever like at this fullness and this condition at the same time. I remember that Chicago Pro 2022 when he played second to Hunter Labrada, he was amazing at that show with that conditioning, he was actually really conditioned. Then however later the Arnold Classic he was a lot bigger, but he wasn't as conditioned. And this time around it seems like he's bringing a combination of those two things, a very good combination with some improvements as well, especially in the legs, I think legs are definitely looking bigger now. And also, I think this guy is actually like extremely genetically blessed, I think he's kind of underrated, honestly. And I think he has the potential to really be, you know, something special in the future, maybe even this year, next year. Because like, he has a really small waist, really good abs, which is very important these days. He has that 3D look, that round look, you know, in the chest and the arms, in the delts. The legs are supposedly a weak body part to his, but like, are they really weak? I wouldn't say that, I mean, they are probably his weakest body part, but they're not really weak, they are decent, at least. Now, Brett's biggest competition at this show is going to be Patrick Moore, who announced doing this show as well, and after placing 6th at UK Pro, we thought maybe he's gonna call it a season and stop competing for this year, or like stop competing altogether, or like switch to classic or something like that, but that's not happening, as he says, he doesn't think it's time to wrap it up for the season, so he's gonna continue competing, he's gonna do the show that he announced he was gonna do, which is Legion, and uh, can he beat Brett Wilkin? I mean, I am expecting him to place higher than at the UK Pro, I think he was maybe slightly overlooked at that show, but maybe he wasn't, maybe he actually deserved to place that low, and at this show the competition is gonna be weaker, so I can imagine seeing him in the top two, you know, against Brett Wilkin, but like, can he beat him? I don't think so. I mean, check this out as well, you know, Brett has a really good back as well, and then like the lower body from behind, the width of the legs, the mass, the hamstrings, the glutes, even some pretty massive calves, so like he has it all, basically, he's a very well-rounded bodybuilder, unlike Patrick, who is a little bit more, you know, I wouldn't say stringy, but like, he's a little bit more slight, you know, and, and Brett is definitely very full, very round, has a ton of muscle as well, he's definitely a big bodybuilder, he's not like Patrick Moore, he's definitely a very massive bodybuilder with also very good aesthetics, and at this point in prep, 10 days out, his conditioning is actually looking very good, now there is 10 more days to make sure he's uh, spot on, and he's coached with Matt Jansen, and you guys know that Matt Jansen is big on peak weeks, so I'm expecting Brett to like get dry and full, and since his conditioning is looking like this right now, I can only imagine what he's gonna look like on stage, and it's going to be very good. I'm pretty sure Brett Wilkin is winning Legion Sports and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia 2025. I don't know if there is anybody really who can stop him. Maybe like Patrick Moore, but I doubt, I highly doubt it, I don't see it at all. I think Brett's got this, but if you guys think otherwise, whatever you think, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got a little sneak peek at Brandon Curry right now, and we can see kinda his conditioning and basically his uh, size as well. So he posted this uh, a video of himself uh, enjoying the spa, I guess. Uh, I believe this is a part of the oxygen gym, actually. And in this video, we can kinda see what Brandon might be bringing to the Mr. Olympia. Now, a lot of people sign him off completely, a lot of people have Brandon in like 10th spot, 9th spot, 8th spot at the Mr. Olympia, some people are even speculating he might be out of the Mr. Olympia, that he won't even do it, it doesn't seem like that, it doesn't seem like he's not gonna do it, he posted this video of himself training legs, and here he says that he can smell the Mr. Olympia coming, he's getting ready for it for sure, he's prepping hard, he's doing all he can, uh, in those 11 weeks that he has uh, in this prep, he started prepping for the Mr. Olympia 11 weeks out, he didn't do basically anything in the offseason, according to Abdullah, his former coach now, and uh, here, let's take a look at this uh, training video real quick, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, is there a reason why is he training the legs the way he's training them, like, he is not going super heavy with the legs, I mean, maybe there is a lot of weight, 
when he's doing these exercises, but like you can see his intensity, his effort that he's putting into these sets, and it's not exactly super high. Is there an injury or something? I don't know. And as far as his legs, the way they're looking here, I mean, he obviously has a pump, and they're not looking great. But did they ever look great? Even when he won the Mr. Olympia that one year? No. So as long as they're looking decent, and his upper body is looking as impressive as it always does, then maybe we shouldn't count Brandon out. Maybe he's going to actually do surprisingly well even this year. Now take a look at the way he's doing the squats. I mean, what is he doing? Why is he training like this? I don't get it. I mean, is he just trying to get a light pump here? Or, I mean, why is his intensity so low? I, I don't get it. He trains like somebody who suffered a serious injury. Or maybe he's just, you know, he doesn't have the heart to go hard uh, on legs. I don't know. Because that's not his training style. Take a look at what he's doing like for his chest or for his upper body. Any exercise, really. Like, those dumbbells are heavy. I don't know exactly how much there is, but they're massive, so they're very heavy. And look at the intensity. Like, he's going, like, to the, to the failure, basically. So he's able to lift heavy and to go near failure or to failure on upper body exercises. But, like, when it comes to legs, he's just pumping up and not really doing um, anything super hard. I don't know why is that, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why his legs are so weak. It's not genetic if he's training them like this all the time. Now, as far as his upper body, this is, or at least it was, like, back in 2019, one of the most impressive upper bodies, like, of all time, you know, he has everything, basically, like, very aesthetic midsection, super small waist, big chest, big shoulders, big arms, big back, everything, really, like, upper body, super round, super full, super well-shaped, he has it all, just the legs, legs are a big issue. But again, he won the Mr. Olympia with those legs, he placed the second, he placed the fourth last year, so why are we saying he's gonna place a tenth this year? I don't know, I guess because a lot of good bodybuilders are entering the show, but I don't think we should underestimate Brandon Curry. Maybe he's gonna be a little bit worse this year, but like still, he has a really good chance of being again in that top five. I mean, I don't know how, who he can beat in the top five, but maybe we shouldn't count him out. What do you guys think? So in my previous video, some of you guys asked me to make an update on Regan Grimes. And you know, I can't make an update if I don't get any, any photos, any videos. And he didn't really post anything as far as like uh, bodybuilding poses. But he did post this. And we can kind of get an idea of what he's looking like right now in his offseason. His plan apparently is to... You know, have a have a slow and steady off season. Try to stay very lean and just gain lean body mass uh, until he starts prepping next year in 2025. But I mean, I'm not really getting an impression that he's like staying super lean. Maybe he is lean, but he seems very watery. At least right here, he looks like he is bulking. And the last time he updated us with his weight, he was at like 300 pounds, a little bit below, like 297. And I don't know what his weight is right now, but it seems like he may have gained another 5 pounds at least. Because he looks like even more puffy, right? He looks like he has a lot more fluff on him. Like he's watery. I wouldn't say he's fat, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's fatter than in his last physique update. But he's big, he's massive, he's round, so I believe this is actually the right approach. I would just like to see him get to like 330, 340 with this kind of conditioning. You know, this conditioning is good if he's really pushing the things. I mean, he didn't update us with his weight, I don't know, what, is he forcing the growth right now, or is he just cruising and looking like this? Not sure, but he looks big, he looks really massive. I just think he needs to be even bigger than this. He needs to gain another like 20, 30 pounds and then he can do a lot. He can do really well, but it doesn't seem like he's that driven. It doesn't seem like he's willing to do whatever it takes to just get as big as possible. Maybe things will change once he becomes a father, but I think it's more likely for things to change in the other direction. Not good for bodybuilding, but maybe better for him. I don't know, I don't think we're going to see Regan at his uh, full potential 
in ever in his career i don't see it happening but maybe i'm wrong whatever you guys think tell me down below now this right here is what a bodybuilder who is trying to get better to get bigger is looking like good we have a new physique update at 130 kilos which is like 286 and he is looking quite freaky <laughs> this big this massive I mean, this guy placed a second Detroit Pro, so he nearly got that Olympic qualification, but I'm pretty sure he can get it. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of a show. I mean, uh, this year, Detroit Pro, he had Martin Fitzwater, and it was an extremely close battle. It wasn't Martin from the New York Pro. He was a little bit worse there. He was a little bit off, and it was extremely close. Guarvita could have won that show. He didn't, however... Then at the Arnold Classic Brazil, he also, like, he had Rafael Brandao and Tonio Burton, so he wasn't quite good enough, but that was his uh, pro debut, basically. So next year, if he continues progressing at this pace, and it seems like he's very driven, very focused, yeah, I'm sure he's going to win a pro show if he chooses it wisely, unless he does, like, a Arnold Classic or something like that, and, and you know, he can't win that kind of a show, but, like... If he chooses another show, a little bit lower level show, something like, I don't know, Toronto, Vancouver, Tampa, Chicago, something like that, or something in Europe, like Italy, Spain, France, whatever, if he does that with the new improvements uh, he already made in this offseason, his plan is to gain another 5 kilos, which is like 11 pounds, uh, of lean muscle, he's actually very lean, this is lean, Regan Grimes, he is not this lean. This is actually staying very lean and growing, and Good Vito is doing that very, very well. This guy is crazy genetically blessed, honestly. Like he's very young. I believe he's like 26, 27. I'm not sure, something like that. But like he's not 30, not even. And he became a pro very recently, so there is a whole career ahead of him, and I'm pretty sure next year we're gonna see him win pro shows, or at least one pro show. And we'll see him on the Mr. Olympia stage, I have no doubt. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to support me, you can try some of the hostile supplements and use the code EVEN10 for a 10% discount. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.